it is the smoke that kills not the fire hello everyone welcome to fe learning my name is alam and today i'm going to talk about smoke movement within a building so the factor which influence the movement of a smoke within a building and these are buoyancy of force it is buoyancy force stake effect wind energy and expansion of gases so let's start with the buoyancy force now we all know that in case of the fire there is a heat from the fire and those heat once it gets transferred to the smoke or the air the density the temperature of those smoke or air increases and because of that the density reduces as the density reduces smoke getting lighter in weight so because of the lighter in weight smoke start rising you know it rises up until it found out the ceiling so once it found the ceiling it start spreading to that areas and that we call a ceiling jet right now those ceiling jet once found any vertical barrier like this you can see from that point it start getting down and once it start getting down the depth we can say that is the smoke layer now that is the smoke layer is a point of concern for the safe evacuation of the building sorry safe evacuation of the occupants from a building and that need to be calculated manually or from the software like uh, cfd and so on in complex geometry or the big atrium right for the safe evacu evacuation of the occupants from the building okay the next one we have the stake effect so it is a vertical it is the main reason that spread smoke vertically from floor to floor and so on up to the height so it is the vertical air flow within a building caused by the pressure difference between exterior and interior right so if you start with the basic science hot air cold air sorry hot air rises and cold air settles down so when it is when it is cold outside and hot inside the air get inside the building up inside the building mostly when you talk about when you talk about the stake effect we have to always consider uh, the vertical rays phase or the shaft or the openings and so if it is hot outside sorry it is cold outside and hot inside so air get inside from the pressure difference or the density difference as the air get inside it get heated so as it get heated it reduce in density right and the weight also reduce and then it going up from the shaft or the any vertical opening from floor to floor and here the stake effect becomes the major major contributors of a smoke is spread from floor to floor within a building now if there's if it is cold outside hot inside the smoke move upwards and that we calls normal stake effect contrary to that if it is hot outside and cold air inside so the hot due to the pressure difference you know uh the hot air come inside the building again and it's get cold so as it get cool it started coming down you know and it started settle down so the the flow is reverse from the top to the bottom and that we call reverse stake effect right so that's the point cold outside hot inside normal stake effect hot outside cold inside reverse stake effect okay so that's about the stake effect the next one we have the expansion of gases right so in case of the fire and we know that the temperature of the room or the air or the smoke increases so if the air temperature is something around let's say 2200 degree fahrenheit or 1260 degree celsius as for the reference air expand five times its original volume so if this is the air volume let's say for this example it expand to that much and because of that because of that expansion within a compartment where the volume is fixed right so the pressure difference arises and that pressure difference start uh, you know going from compartment to compartment but if we have one opening in the compartment so those pressure difference is not more because we have uh, the opening that minimizes the pressure rise across the barrier right but imagine if the door is closed and there is a compartment within that we have a fire and the gas temperature goes something around 2200 degrees fahrenheit or higher than that 
the gas going to expand five times its volume right now five times its volume and we know the compartment volume is fixed right so it's a basic ideal it's basic gas laws right when we have the fixed volume and and the the temperature if you are increasing the temperature right so the pressure goes higher right and that pressure difference between the origin of the fire to the nearby compartment due to that big difference now the smoke will start coming out from that 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 barrier from one compartment to other compartment by pressure difference forces uh, now here we can say that if you are doing if you have some piping coming from one room to other bin or the eight bag ducts or any kind of the utilities items that need to be sealed not only sealed that need to be sealed by a listed sealant and that has been done by a approved contractor because you know if they have not installed or sealed those areas perfectly as for their specification the great extent of the pressure difference between this compartment and the nearby compartment is not going to uh, serve uh, not going to stop to spread the smoke from this area to so that area because you know we, if, we, if we have huge pressure in one side and low pressure in the other side of course the normal pressure and temperature atmospheric one from the fire a smoke will reach from the cracks from the openings or from a a, a improper sealant joint by unapproved contractor or unqualified uh, unqualified contractor we talk about uh, those who have not trainings to install those kind of the sealant and then here we can see the movement from one area to the other areas by expansion force so it is the expansion force that try to serve some some kind of the openings because of this high pressure difference right the next one we have the wind energy right so we know our, we all know that wind energy may may or may not play a role in a building if we have no openings then there is a no chance of the wind energy to influence the smoke within a building but suppose if we have a fire at this side and we have uh, the wall at this side of this compartment and the wind is coming from this side from the windward direction and if we have opening at this side right one opening at this side of the the wall and one opening the that side of the wall so in that case the fire the high energy from the wind will spread the fire horizontally within the building right so from the windward direction it is go horizontally now if the compartment is in the leeward direction that's other concern uh, that, that in that case the leeward direction wind will not allow the smoke to go out of the, the area right so that's all about the wind energy so let's summarize all those four buoyancy stack effect wind energy and the expansion of the gases right so the major concern is buoyancy and the stack effect right so let's talk about the buoyancy uh, again uh, to summarize that one we know in building where we have a sprinkler system installed buoyancy is not going to play a major role uh, in the other sense we all know that the bulb of the wet sprinkler pipes wet pipe system is sensitive to the temperature so we always have some uh, specification that uh, if for the better result we have to install something around 30 feet of the height so if the building is sprinkler system installed at 30 feet height and where the plume of the hot gases is the major is the main one who activate the sprinkler in case of the wet pipe system uh, in this case buoyancy may be negligible right but uh, if you have high ceiling in the atria or big large opening in that case buoyancy going to play a major role and also this is this is the reason you cannot see uh, in atrium is so high you know that you can find a sprinkler system in that area because you know if su suppose the atria is 60 meet 60 feet in height right so in that case the buoyancy of the hot plume may not go up to that level or even it reaches the temperature of that maybe the temperature of that may be reduced so extent that is not going to fuse that one so this is why you can see in much of the atrium uh, there is a challenge of installing a sprinkler over 30 feet or 40 feet height now i'm not i'm just talking about the normal on the convention pres prescriptive uh, code which is written in the code like nfa 13 and so on 
But yeah, there is some listing agencies who approve those higher installation for certain sprinkler and certify that one. That's a, that's a performance-based design or those alternative options. We know the world is changing very fast, so there is always an alternative solution to the conventional one. Right. Stack effect, uh, we all discussed that one. It's just a, uh, it's a difference between the temperature from the outside to the inside. And expansion of gas within the compartment, it plays if we have, we, the compartment is totally closed and the fire is continues to rise and hence the air temperature is rising and that's the expansion. That's all about uh, the buoyancy force. I know in most of the case, they, in some case they might flay together. So in there is a fire, uh, the smoke gates rises from the, from the buoyancy force and they define some horizontal openings like in the communicating space, it goes like this one. As it goes like this one, they might found some vertical openings like the shaft and so on. And then from this side, they say, yeah, let's start with the stack effect. If it just goes out of the building, right? let's say it goes out of the building and the wind is blowing very fast and there's another high rise building nearby that, right? So that, now the wind energy playing a role, the hot gas is going from that side to the other building and hitting that one also. So now this is why we have some separation requirement or the or the passive fire uh, protection requirement for the building is so close here spaced, right? That's for now. Uh, I hope uh, I hope that I try to explain those four uh, points, but still if you have any uh, if you have any concern or suggestion regarding this topic, please do let me know. You can contact me on LinkedIn, Facebook, or through the email of F. Take care. Bye-bye.